everybody else Wait for the talk You know what to do And P.S. If this is awesome I still love you Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Trailer Talk. And you know, we haven't done a lot of Trailer Talks this season, but we're reserving them for very, 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 very special guests. We have a beautiful song together on her last Christmas album, and she is one of the best singers on the planet. She won another competition show and has gone on to superstardom in the country world and beyond. Please welcome Carrie Underwood. <laughs> welcome, Carrie. Yeah. How are you? Good, glad to be here. It's so nice to have you. Yes. So let's talk about what's happening right now. We're singing our song together, yes. Hallelujah. So let's talk about your Christmas album a little bit. What was it like to make that Christmas album? How much have you been thinking about it, working on it? Well, I've been thinking about it for years. Yes. Um, something I always wanted to do, but as you know, it's like you you have your, what you do on a normal basis. The regular music, right. and you're making a regular catalog, you're, you're like making an album. worried about the radio yes. and you know touring and all that stuff, so fitting one in has always just been a challenge. And Same for me. Um, so after the last um, Cry Pretty album, I was like, okay, this is what I'm doing. Like, I'm holding it, I'm calling it, um, so we started doing all of our planning kind of at the end of 2019 and then 2020 was what it was and uh, I was like well I don't I don't want to stop like yeah. how can we find other ways to continue making this album and we made it we did <laughs> um, and your get the song that you wrote hallelujah was just like the cherries on top and um, I was so honored to do that song with you I wrote that song with Toby Gad who I wrote all of me with and he said he played it for you, and he was like, would you be okay with uh, Carrie Underwood singing your song? I was like, of course I would. And then secondly, he was like, Carrie wants to do it as a duet. I'm like, of course I would love that. It's just, it's just seeing, you know? <laughs> I'm like, and, from... and it became a really magical duet together. I was so honored to be on your album. The, the Christmas album is beautiful. It's called My Gift. And it's gorgeous. And then you made a gospel album after that, right? I did. It was kind of um, the hope to follow the Christmas up yes. with um, something, another passion project. And it just seemed like the right time given the circumstances in which we were operating. Yeah. And, People um, needed some hope. They needed hope. And it was so good for me, like I, selfishly, to get to just live in this world of Christmas and then these songs that I grew up singing that just mean so much to me. Yeah. Um, it was just such a beautiful time to just be in that space. Of you course. Know? That must feel good to, to really be in touch with your roots. Talk about your roots in the church and, and what it meant to you to go back to that. Yeah, I mean, these are the songs that I grew up singing. Um, and, and even today, I can still hear members of the congregation, like, in my yes. ears, certain ones that would always, you know, sing off key or always <laughs> do certain things. And um, of course. They, they live in my head. So um, just to get to revisit that, and, and we, we tried to stay. We wanted everything to sound very current because the church I grew up in was just very, like, southern you know traditional tiny band on stage uh -huh. and it was people that weren't necessarily in bands ever yeah. um, this is just what they did on sundays and um we wanted to keep everything having that heart in it yes um the familiarity and just the sweetness that everyone would remember but and you grew up in oklahoma too right yes. Like a certain cowboy we know who works over here at the that's voice that's right that's yeah. right he wasn't too far from me yeah. growing up yeah well I, I got the tour there in Oklahoma this year, and I loved being there, and everyone asked me about Blake and, and, and whether I knew Blake, and was Blake really nice in person? And I was like, yes, he actually is very nice in person. He's kind of what you see is what you get with Blake, <laughs> I think. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. He's a very real person, and I know you are too. And um, I like to tease Blake, you know, because he's always getting the country singers on his team, even though I'll turn for them if I really like them, but I have no chance. You when... should be like, when was the last time you won a CMT award? Exactly. <laughs> I won a CMT award with Carrie Underwood. <laughs> Give me some credit. <laughs> Now, granted, I would not have won the, the CMT award if Carrie Underwood did not have such a huge legion of country fans who love her on fierce. CMT. They're fierce and they voted for her 
And speaking of voting for you, you were a winner of another competition show, and we are at the finale of our competition. What advice would you have for these singers as they're navigating through this and hopefully winning, and then what comes after? Oh my gosh, I mean, everybody's journey is very different. Yeah. Um, but I feel like I learned so much in such a short amount of time by kind of being in this world. Yeah. Um, just soak it in, be nice to everybody because you nobody realizes how much you see all of these people yes. going forward, mm -hmm. you know? So just be nice, learn everything that you can learn, um, soak it all in, say your prayers and <laughs> And you, you can be a superstar like Carrie Underwood. There you go. That's anything. <laughs> Honestly, the two <laughs> biggest stars that have ever come from any competition, I would have to say, are our own Kelly Clarkson and Carrie Underwood. Both of them have done phenomenally, had amazing careers, and they're both just two of the greatest singers on the planet right now. Now, not only do we have a duet together, but we have something else in common. We're both going to Vegas next year. Yes. Talk I've, about it. I've been in Vegas. I just had um, recently my first run. Um, yes. And it is so much fun. And then I heard that you are going to be coming as well. All the cool kids are doing it. All the cool kids are doing it. <laughs> um, You're at Resorts yeah, World? So yes, yes, yes. I'll be at Planet Hollywood. I just announced that this week. And uh, it's very exciting. It is. I, I didn't know how much I would love it. Yeah. Um, and it, I mean, it's such a massive undertaking and you can kind of do all the things that you can't do on tour. Yeah, because you're bringing everybody to right. you. You don't have to be out on a truck or a bus. Load and stuff a, up. Yeah, and exactly. The, the great, when you're done doing your show, you just like go back to your room yeah. and go, go to bed. So uh, I do. <laughs> you're like bringing the road to you, whereas we yes. normally go out on the road, we're bringing everybody to us. And Vegas is such a great destination. People like to come in and have a good time and they want to see a good show. And everybody's from everywhere. Yeah. Like people come through, I'll get to talk to people, and I'm like, where are you from, where are you yes. from? And there's all different, and they're all coming to one place to just have a great time. So it's, We're going to so have fun. so much fun in Vegas. Make sure you see Carrie Underwood there, see me there. we got some great folks coming to Vegas, so come enjoy the shows. We're going to sing a song together. We are. Now, I was thinking it would be cool do something country and you had a great idea. I did um, because it, I, I know that this show is all about friendly competition, yes. you know, amongst the judges. Um, and I feel like because I, you, you can sing anything, um, I would love to hear your voice on something like country. So I think that we should sing a Blake Shelton song and you should show him how it's done. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> On one of his I, don't know, I mean, I'm just going to try it. friendly competition. I'm just going to try the song. I'm not going to show anybody how it's done. I'm just going <laughs> to sing it my way with Miss Carrie Underwood. So humble. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, let's comp be competitive. Uh -huh. Now, we're going to sing Blake Shelton's first massive hit, a beautiful song called Austin. And uh, let's see how it goes, y'all. We'll see what happens. And maybe I'll get some country people on my team. I'm endorsed by Carrie Underwood. What else Stamp could you approval. what else could you need? She left without leaving a number. Said she needed to clear her mind. He figured she'd gone back to Austin. She talked about it all the time. It was almost a year before she called him up. Three rings and an answering machine is what she got. If you call him by the car I sold it, if this is Tuesday night I'm bowling. You got something to sell, you're wasting your time. I'm not buying. Everybody else, wait for the talk, you know what to do. And P.S., if this is Austin, I still love you. Oh, uh, the telephone fell to the counter, she heard, but she couldn't believe. What kind of man would hang on that long? What kind of love that must be? Oh, she waited three days, then she tried again. She didn't know what she'd say, but she heard three rings and then. If it's Friday night, I'm at the ball game. 
Thank you so much.